Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome. In today's video, we're going to be making a paired accord key fob by covering a wine cork with a globe knot. We're going to be tying our globe knot on a globe knot mandrel. This is a 4 pin globe knot mandrel, so it has a total of 4 columns. Column 1, 2, 3, 4. Our mandrel has a total of 8 rows A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. As you can see, pins in rows A, B, C, F, G, H are sticking out. So this is the pin setup. We will be tightening our knot onto a wine bottle cork. Oftentimes, you can find this for free in local restaurants. Ask around and recycle used ones. The cork has a hole drilled through the center, which will enable us to add a hang loop. Running through our cork to the bottom. For the hang loop, we're going to be using a single piece of Paracord 550. For the globe knot, we're going to be using a single piece of 95 cord. To make our globe knot a bit easier to tie, we're going to be using a lacing needle. Let's prepare the core for our key fob. Grab your piece of paracord 550, fold it in half. So this is going to be our loop. Under it, tie a single snake knot. Feed the two ends through your cork. On the other side, let's tie a knife lanyard knot.
trim the two ends. Before we tie our glue knot, let's prepare our cord, mandrel and lacing needle. Fold your cord in half. Pick one half of your cord and coil it up. Feed your working hand through the hole in your mandrel near A1. Attach a lacing needle onto your working hand. So this is our setup. One half of our cord, our mandrel and our lacing needle. We are starting our tying at A1. Here is the run list for our knot. We're going to be following it line by line. We begin tying at A1. We move to H4. From H4 we pass to B3. Passing over 1. From B3 we move to F1, again passing over 1, from F1 we move to C3, passing under 1, so opposite to our previous strand. From C3 we pass to G1. Again passing under 1. Opposite to our previous strand. From G1 we pass to A4, going over to under 1.
from A4, we pass to H3. Going the opposite to this strand here. Over and over. From H3, we pass to B2. Under 2. Over to under one. From B2, we move to F4. Traveling parallel to this strand here. So, under over, under, And over. From F4, we move to C2. Traveling the opposite to this strand and parallel to this one here. Over. Then under 2. Over 1, from C2, we pass to G4. Splitting a pair of parallel strands. So, over, under, Over, under. From G4, we pass to A3. Again splitting a pair of parallel strands. Under, over to, under, Then continuing over under. From A3, we pass to H2. 
traveling the opposite to this strand here. So starting under, then continuing opposite to this strand here. From H2, we pass to B1, traveling parallel to this strand here. So starting under, continuing over under, over to and so on. From B1, we pass to F3, traveling the opposite to this strand and parallel to this one here. From F3, we pass to C1, traveling the opposite to this strand, parallel to this one here. Under, over, under to, and so on, now from C1, we pass to G3, splitting a pair of parallel strands, over under, over under, and so on. From G3, we pass to A2, again splitting a pair of parallel strands, starting over, under, over to, and so on.
From A2, we pass to H1. Traveling the opposite to this strand here. And essentially splitting this pair of strands. So starting under, then over, under, splitting this pair here. From H1, we pass to B4, traveling the opposite to this strand here. So starting under, and continuing over, under, and so on. From B4, we pass to F2. Traveling parallel to this strand here and opposite to this one here. So we start under, over, under, and so on. From F2, we pass to C4, traveling parallel to this strand and opposite to this one here. So starting under, over, under, and so on. From C4, we now pass to G2, splitting a pair of parallel strands. So, over under, over under, and so on. And our final pass, from G2, we move back to A1, again splitting a pair of parallel strands, starting over, under, and so on.
Reaching A1, we place our working hand next to the standing hand, then we work it alongside our standing hand a bit deeper into our knot. Then undo your coil Pull your standing hand through this hole here. Reattach your lacing needle onto the standing hand. Double up your knot by following your working hand in reverse through the entire knot until the two ends meet again. So as you can see, we are doubling up our knot. With the two ends meeting up, we have effectively doubled up our knot. Sink in all of your screws, then we're going to transfer our knot onto our core. We now transfer our knot onto our core shape it up then begin tightening up starting at one end going through our knot removing slack Finally, trim the ends. This concludes our tutorial on a paracord keyfob done out of a globe knot. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my future videos as well.